Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So today I will be decluttering and then cleaning the hallway. I suppose it is the start of my spring cleaning although I feel a little bit late this year. So my hallway can often get really messy and stuff just gets dumped and it's really annoying as it's obviously the first thing that you see when you walk through the door and I just hate it if it's messy. I actually did this one evening after work and I'm so glad I did as I feel much better now and it doesn't annoy me when I get home. The first thing that I wanted to tackle is the coat and shoe cupboard as there are shoes and coats in here that just don't need to be. I made these shelves a while ago and they certainly do help but I just need to go through them and mainly remove Arabella's coats and shoes that no longer fit her. So I sorted the coats and shoes into three different piles, one for keep, um, one for charity and another one to sell as some of them are in really good condition. Once these shelves were clear, I brushed off any mud or any kind of dirt in there with my mini dustpan and brush. I love this, I'll link it down below. It's honestly so good, I use it all the time. And then just wiped over with a multi-purpose cloth and cleaner. You can see here that under the bottom shelf the floor was absolutely filthy and well overdue a good clean. I don't think it's till until you kind of move everything that you realise how much you missed during your normal cleaning and this is just why I really love a spring clean or a good deep clean. Once I'd also given the doors a clean, as again it's something that I often forget when I'm doing my normal cleaning, I added in a couple of Arabella's coats to keep down here and then added back in the shoes that I'll be keeping. I have these couple of baskets that I keep in here, one including like scarves and gloves and things and then the other has sun cream bits like that just that you might need as you're going out the door and randomly a pair of my mum's slippers for when she comes round. I feel like that it's so much better in here now much more organized and stuff that we actually use I would like to maybe decorate in here I did think about maybe kind of paneling the back wall and painting it like a dark color I think that would look really nice but yeah that's something definitely for another day not an evening after work. These are all of the shoes that I'm going to be either donating or selling. As you can see, some of them are actually okay. They just need a bit of a clean. And then I'll probably just pop them onto Vinted or take them to the charity shop. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know that when I do my cleaning, I generally like to start from the top and work my way down. So before doing anything else, I'm basically just going to work my way around the 
the ceilings and also do the walls with my feather duster like do the light fixtures because this is just something that definitely gets missed on my regular cleans and just getting all of that kind of dust in between the stairs and I'm always surprised actually when you dust the walls how much dust kind of sits on the walls um yeah so once this is done because obviously you don't want to do that last um and then have dust fall on everything so this is something that I kind of always do first when I'm doing a deep clean or a spring clean Once all the dusting was done, I then on, went on to some more cleaning, so moving on to the door. Eventually I would really like a new door, um, this is the door that we got when we moved in, which I can't actually believe has been, for, well it will be actually six years this August, it just seems crazy, feels like we haven't been here five minutes, it's just crazy how quickly time goes. So yeah, gave the door a quick clean, again just with some multi-purpose cleaner, also cleaned the skirting boards whilst I was there and then used some window cleaner on the actual glass part of the door. Another dumping area is this letter tray and kind of key hook. And this is just where sometimes I'll put like letters from schools or you know like wedding invites, kids party invites, things like that. So I just need to have a really good clear out of this. I got this wreath recently for the door so I'm putting that up too even though it's pitch black now. There are a few scuff marks on the cupboard door obviously just from where we're coming in with bags and it knocks it and I used a magic eraser to get these off and this is honestly fantastic for removing kind of scratches or marks and any even like pen if you've got kids drawing on walls honestly I really rate those magic erasers they're amazing. Next up are the stairs and the carpet is starting to look really worn obviously in the middle where we walk up and down the stairs. I picked up this pet hairbrush from Amazon and it's great for getting all of the bits out of the corners that you just can't get out when you're kind of vacuuming and also fluffing up the carpet slightly honestly it's fantastic and just so it's like disgusting when it all comes up but satisfying at the same time um yeah definitely recommend this and I'll, I'll link it down below in the description box if anyone is interested Whilst I had the hand attachment of the hoover, I also use this on the doormat to get all of the bits from the side and just try and get everything out of it as it's built in so I can't kind of shake it or anything. Once I'd polished the radiator cover, I then moved on to this unit that I've got under the stairs. I actually painted this a couple of years ago and to be honest, it could do with a bit of a repaint because there's marks on it now and it's starting to chip. Ideally, I would love to get one of those 
you know those storage units that you can get built under the stairs i think they are amazing um yeah and that would just be ideal but that's maybe something maybe next year we'll we'll look at doing that but for now this unit and what i've done under the under the stairs should be fine so i'll just give it a final vacuum and then the it's nearly done i will still need to mop but i will do that last thing just before going to bed when i'm also mopping the kitchen as well To finish off, I sprayed the stairs with 1001 and the doormat with a mix of the flora and water. If you've got pets or anything, maybe don't do that. But that is it and I really hope you've enjoyed this video, it's given you some motivation. As always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye!